Well, hello there, friends. A fantastic soup today. Very simple, chicken noodle soup. We're gonna make the stock as well. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making it right now together. Well, hello there, friends. Chicken noodle soup, you would think. No brainer, right? It's not a brainer. It's actually <laughs> really simple. But I still want to show you my, my way of doing it, friends. Chicken noodle soup. You need a chicken. <laughs> it's a lot easier if you start with a chicken. It's cheaper because you get two breasts. Cheap, like almost nothing. If you were to check my video on how to make a chicken stock, you'll see I explained the whole thing. What do we use for the chicken stock? For the, we're going to make a chicken stock and then we'll make a chicken stew. Very simple. Eh? So if you don't want to make the stock, skip the video or go to the soup directly. We're going we're gonna to remove the legs. Look, you take the leg, friends, you cut the skin a little bit, and you pop them. Just pop them. That's really simple. Take your knife and cut around it, and boom, you got a leg. I'll do it again so you can see. Look, take the, uh, pop it like this, right? And then you... Pop it. This is what I'm talking about popping. Is that bone right there. You take it, because if you don't cut that bone, friends, if you don't cut around the bone, you're never going to be able to cut it. All right? So what else do we need here? Well, I don't like to cook the breast in here. If you want to cook the breast in your soup, you do it. But um, I find that they, they don't get very tender. They get uh, chewy. The, the dark meat, that's better. So what do we do? We take the breast off. How do we take the breast off? We put the knife on the carcass, but let's say, check that video we made on the stock for See, it'll tell you exactly how to do it. All right, we take it right there, and we got ourselves a beautiful breast. You see, look, boom, almost free. Because, you see, if you were to buy this, this right there, friends, in the store, it's about $5 a pound for boneless and skinless breast of chicken. $5 a pound, $6 depends where you're buying it. Five, six dollars a pound for a skinless and boneless breast of chicken. Well, guess what? Right there, friends, I got a pound and three quarter, almost two pound. I didn't pay anything because I paid a dollar ninety nine a pound for this thing, a dollar sixty nine. It was a dollar sixty nine a pound for the whole carcass. So you take it right there, you cut it, you pop it. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of popping today. You know these friends? This is how you make a chicken stock. Boom. Boom. The leg, we're going to use them and we're going to shred them. Put them in here. Let me wash my hands real quick, friends. Because I don't want the, um, the health department police of YouTube. <laughs> they say, oh, you touched the chicken and now you, um, you're touching something else. Okay, so look. We got the chicken in here, friends. Celery. We're gonna put the whole celery, the whole celery. Put the whole thing in there, right? Carrots, four, five, six carrots, depends how big they are. Cut them small, otherwise they're never gonna cook and they're never gonna release their flavor. Don't peel them. You wash them, but you don't peel them, okay? Carrots. Um, leeks, you know what I do? I buy the whole leeks, I use the whole thing, but I save the white and the inside because it's sweeter. Rinse them really good. If you watch the vegetable video we did, we show you how to do it. You cut them in half and you wash them because they're full of sand. So the white part, it's sweet. I use it for the soup, okay? The rest of it, I put it in the stock. This is stock. We're making stock. Onion. Whole onion in there. And when you make a stock, you don't need to saute the onion, okay? You make a soup, it's a different. We're going to make the soup later. We'll do a little bit better, okay? What else are we doing here, friends? A little bit of uh, uh, thyme, fresh thyme, if you got it. You don't have it, don't worry. You know what? It's cooking. If you don't have time, people go, you know, I like it, you chicken stew, but maybe, maybe, uh, I don't like the time in there. Really? Get out of my house. <laughs> Only kidding. Parsley, don't be afraid to put the stems, friends. The stems is just as flavorful in there, right? And then what else? We're going to put some flavoring in there. Bay leaves. You know, bay leaves, they, they don't smell like nothing, but when they cook, when they, they get hot, they release a je ne sais quoi. So we got to put them... 17, um, uh, um, I mean 17, a few garlic cloves. Don't want to put too much because we, know, we don't want a garlic to be very fragrant. We just want it to be in the background. And 14 uh, 
A black peppercorn. I didn't count them. I was only kidding. So look, no salt. At this point, we don't put a salt. Remember, we're making a stock right there, friends. And we're gonna cover the bones about an inch and a half, two inch. That's it. That's all you do. Bring it to boil. Shoop. Bring it to boil. When it's boiling, reduce it down and cook very slowly. Bloop, 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 bloop. Very little. Not bloop, 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 because it's gonna get all cloudy. Okay, and then we're gonna skim with a ladle. Later on, I'll show you how to do it. We're gonna let it cook for about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. I'll be back after it has an opportunity to cook, and I'll show you what it looks like, and we're gonna finish and we're gonna make the soup, okay? We'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends, about an hour and a half went by. I have a little mise en place for the soup. Um, we're gonna saute some onion, and then we're gonna make the soup. We're gonna season it, we're gonna do the whole thing. Simple, simple, simple. Look, the onion, folks, I don't want you to have long strips of onion. You know, when you're making a soup, you don't want long thing, they don't fit in the spoon, they hang in, they end up on, on here. So all I want you to do is very simple. You take an onion, you cut it in half, and then, very simple. See, look, cut it like this. Don't cut it too big now. See, and then you let it fall, and voila. Okay, that's all I want to do. Now I got a pan going. That's where we're going to make the soup. I got it right there. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit of olive oil. I'm using a um, Herb de Provence olive oil, Tuscan herb olive oil, any good olive oil, friends. As long as you got a good olive oil, you're in good shape, right? And that's going to be the base. Oh, mamma mia, it's hot. Now, I don't want to caramelize the onion too much. I just want to sweat them. I just want to sweat them, sweat them so they release a little, they get a little transparent. Okay, we don't need to caramelize them that much. Not that big of a deal for a soup. They're like... Um, they're not the main deal, okay, in there. You know what I'm saying? Very simple. So we're going to give them a little color. In the meantime, friends, while this is happening, oh, you know what? I forgot. I was not supposed to go. We're going to go back and do the carrots because I forgot. I was supposed to do the, car the carrots first. I get the camera always messed up. You good over there, Jack? Okay, good. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the carrots, and it's already peeled, and we're going to use the channel thing because you look, look. It's no big deal, right? But it's kind of nice to be able to have little uh, a wheel like that. So you know what you do? You take a channel, channel knife, very simple for you. This is old fashioned, okay? This will bring me back to 1970. But I like the 70s. We had a lot of good time in the 70s, friends. I know a lot of you were not born. You missed out a great time, let me tell you. <laughs> we had a lot of great time. You know, uh, we used to get dressed up to go everywhere. In the 70s, 70s and 80s even. We, I used to wear a three-piece suit to go um, to go uh, in, a, in a nightclub. Yeah, at the airport, we used to put a suit on. Look, guys, see what I do? Very simple, right? A child could do this. And then all of a sudden, you got good-looking carrots. They're not cooked yet. Nothing is done. <laughs> I can talk to you about the 70s and the 80s until I'm blue in the face. But I'm not going to do that because some of you want to cook. So, <laughs> all right, friends. God bless America. We're lucky we live in this beautiful world, folks. All right, we got onion in there. And then I'm going to put the carrots in there. You're going to throw it up into the soup. It's coming. The stock is coming. We're going to put our carrots. See, look, I didn't want the, uh, the onion. I'm not interested in being that dark, dark golden brown. Just want to sweat them a little bit so they release a little bit of their sugar. That's all we're really interested in. We're not interested in caramelizing them that much, okay? I got the carrots. I'm cutting thin the cows. So look, I had some sweet potato left over from Thanksgiving. Um, or whatever it was, whatever holiday it was, we just passed it. So I chopped it up. I didn't want to throw it away. It'll be perfect in the soup. Certainly don't need it in that soup. We got the white of the leek, friends. White of the leeks right there. We got the celery, and you notice I like the sweet also. The heart of the celery is much sweeter. Cut very small, otherwise they're never going to cook, right? The celery. You know, I had some extra bell pepper. I put it in there. You certainly don't need it if you don't have it. But you know, I like a lot of colors in my soups. I like a lot of colors. So now, we're going to saute this for a minute. Remember, friends, we didn't put any salt. And everybody's always wondering, why don't you put salt? Salt doesn't go in the stock. It goes in the soup. And why is that? Because let's say you're making a stock, right, and there's no salt in it, 
And all of a sudden you want to use it in making a sauce that's got anchovies or capers or, or soy sauce, or all those very salty products, then you got a really salty stock. You're going to be over down on the salt. So we don't want to do that. All right? So now we're going to put the broth. The broth doesn't, the broth, the broth. The broth doesn't need much. I just want to remove a little bit of that um, foam right there, folks. But you know what I did also? You know, I don't normally wash chicken. It's not necessary. But if you want to make a nice soup like this, and you don't want it to be too blurry, you want to wash your chicken. That's all. That's the only reason why you want to do it. The health department tells you don't wash your chicken. You're just spreading bacteria. So don't worry about doing it. It's not for this reason. Just because I don't like a little of that, of that stuff right there, that foam, right? So what I do now, look, I'm good, right? I'm going to take a, a strainer regular strainer, put on top of my pots, and then what I'm gonna do, friends, I'm gonna take all my carcass, all my bones and things, and I'm gonna put them, oh, the leg. Come back over here, we're gonna save the leg, friends. That means later on, Jack, I'm gonna go back on the cutting board, but not quite yet. We're gonna use that meat right there. See the leg, friends, we're gonna use it. We're gonna use two forks. So I'm taking the bigger pieces, the bigger pieces with a strainer, and then I'm gonna pour the juice right there. So this soup, my friend, this stock right there, you gotta cook at least for an hour and a half, okay? An hour and a half is better, then you get more flavor out of your vegetables, you see? And then what I do, then I'm gonna pour my juice right on top of this. Now, if you still think you got flavor out of there, you can continue cooking a little bit longer after you take out the chicken, then you get even more flavor. Otherwise, you know what I do? I take it and I put it in a compost. I put it in a compost. And then I'm going to take this, because, you know, they're rough vegetables. I didn't clean them. Let me get a towel, friend. Sorry. I put it in a compost. Let me make sure you don't have too many flames there, because earlier I caught the towel on fire. You see, friends? Let me not make too much of a mess. Let's see how am I doing over there, friends. You see, it's a little messy, but it's worth it. I think we're going to be fine. I think we can pour the whole thing. I don't know if it's going to fit, but we're going to find out, right? Worst case scenario, I put it right here in my bowl. See, I'm ready. Oh, no, it's going to go. See, now, so now you're going to say, well, more vegetables. Yeah. Now, those vegetables, folks, remember, the, the, the white of the leeks, right? The white of the leeks, the, uh, the, the beautiful carrots. The peeled celery, all the hard pitted. Now we're going to put the pasta. I'm going to use a cavatelli pasta. Uh, you can use whatever you want, whatever pasta you want, noodles, whatever you want. You know, the pasta is going to take about 15, 20 minutes to cook. So the vegetables, because they're very nice and small. And while they are, my friend, measure carefully, yeah? <laughs> there you go. Measure carefully, my mom, friends. You cook the pasta in there now, right? And now what we're gonna do, friends, we're gonna take the chicken. I'm gonna go back to the cutting board. I got my two forks in here. And I like to use the fork to shred the chicken, my friends. And if the chicken is a little pink, don't worry. Look, you see, see right there, it's beautiful. If it's a little pink, it don't matter. Cause it's gonna continue cooking a little bit, you see? So don't let it scare you. And I like to shred it. Okay, and, you, and now, what you can do also, you know, there's a carcass in there. There's a wings in there also. You can go in and dig in with a fork, exactly like I'm doing right now, my friends, and get more of the chicken in there, okay? So, don't waste anything. I know you won't. So expensive. You know what I forgot? I didn't explain it to you carefully earlier, friends, but um, the chicken, I paid $8 for that chicken. It used to be $5 for a chicken. I paid $8, $8.50 for that chicken, and that was four and a half pounds. So it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad, right? And, uh, and I looked at the uh, boneless, uh, skinless chicken breast. They were almost $6 a pound, $5.99. Figure a pound and a half, the whole price of the chicken was exactly what you would have paid if you would have just bought, uh, if you would have just bought a boneless, skinless chicken breast, my friends. So you see, you got all this, all this stock, all this beautiful right there. In a way, I hate to say for free, but it is. Nothing is free in these days. 
Friends, we're going to let this cook. I'm going to clean all this up, and then I'm going to show you one more trick, which is really special. It's all about texture. Remember, the texture is the conductor of flavor. I'm going to share that with you exactly. I'm going to explain to you what I'm talking about. All right, friends? We're going to season it carefully. We're going to let it cook slowly. Bloop, 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 bloop. And then we're ready to go. We'll see you in about 15, 20 minutes after I clean up the whole mess. Well, okay, friends. 15, 20 minutes. Usually base it on the, on the carrots because they're going to be the last one to cook, right? And your pasta is going to take about 15, 20 minutes, however long you need it. If you have a little uh, stuff, then, then a little scum or a little foam, then gets on top. I take a little ladle. And I scoop it up like this, okay? So now I want to talk to you about texture, friends. You see, this is a, this is just a, if we look at it right there, friends, it's a wonderful, beautiful soup. Smells amazing, by the way. I adjust the seasoning, salt and pepper, make sure you do that. This is a perfect example for you to use how to salt correctly. Remember that video we did on how to salt correctly? You may want to check it out. If you haven't seen it, it's really important. So now let's talk about texture, the conductor of flavor. You see, if I put this in my mouth, it's going to taste delicious, but it's going to go so fast. Where are the test buds? What's the test buds? Are they on your tongue or are they in your throat or in your stomach? Huh, on the tongue. So I want the soup to be able to connect with my test buds. If it's too liquid, it's going to go bloop. Before you know, oh, something went by. They went by so far, I don't know what it was. But now you're going to slow that down with a little more texture so it stays on your tongue. Remember, it's all about the tongue. It's all about the tongue, the texture, the conductor, flavor. You see, if I give you liquid, it's going to taste good. But if I give you a little thicker by putting a little cornstarch, a little arrowroot, a little tapioca powder, you can put a flour in there, but if you have a root, but it changes the color. We don't want to do that. Uh, cornstarch or arrowroot actually works even better. Bring it to boil, bring it to boil, and then you have a little mixture of cornstarch and water. And then we're going to mix them. We're going to change it a little bit. Now, I don't, I'm not, not saying make it thick, friends. You don't want to make it thick. You just want to make it a little thicker. That's all. That's all you're interested in it. So it feel, it's, a, it's a mouth feel. If you're not so sure of how much you want to do, take a little bowl on the side like you're going to do for the salt anyway, right? To make sure it's salt correctly. And put a little cornstarch. And put a little more cornstarch. And see how you like it. And you go, oh, that's too much. Well, then don't put so much. But to educate your palate, friends, I promise you that this texture right there already, I don't know if you can see it yet, but it's a little thicker already, you see? Now, it takes a little while for the cornstarch because it's, it's not even high, high ball yet. It takes a little while, but it takes, it's a little thicker. So play with it. Have fun with it. It's only cooking, friends. And I promise you then the texture of it is going to be amazing. So at this point... You can put it right there on a beautiful, look, look, up, you look how beautiful that is. Look at this. Look at this, my friends. Look, see how gorgeous that is? You see? Now, how much you put in, it's really up to you. But this, to me, is the chicken soup. Huh? It's gorgeous. It's got all of the beautiful flavor, all the beautiful texture in there. Adjust the seasoning of it. And the pasta, uh, the starch of the pasta, it's going to help us a little bit also. I thicken it just a little bit, friends. And adjust the seasoning, make sure your salt and pepper is present. The chicken is perfect. Uh, put as much vegetables as little vegetables as you want. Just make it elegant. At the, at the end of the day, we got a chicken uh, uh, noodle soup that is amazing and it's elegant. And it's a. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's delicious, friends. It's perfect. It's got a nice flavor to it. Probably can adjust a little more salt. I can play with it. You do that. Our friends, I hope you enjoy it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Thanks for watching.